Welcome to the magical world of solar. I'm Jay Warmke with Blue Rock Station. And in this video, we're going to discuss how you make a jumper using MC4 connectors. Now, the MC4 connectors are connected to the solar panels. They're also connected to power optimizers. And often when you're doing an installation, you're going to need to make a length of MC4 cable that will go from one of those units to another unit. Usually that's going to be from the solar panel or the optimizer and down connecting to a junction box or a combiner box. When a solar panel comes pre-terminated with MC4s, the male connector end is connected to the positive conductor and the female is connected to the negative. Just remember when you're making a jumper, it's going to be the opposite because you're going to have to connect the female connector to that male and that will still be the positive lead. So just remember you're working in opposites when you're making these jumpers. So the first thing you'll need to do is measure the length of cable. Uh, if you're putting a junction box on a roof, for example, in this example, we have the junction box located at the far end of the roof. Well, the optimizer string can connect directly into that junction box on one end, but from the other end, you're going to need to make a jumper that goes the entire length of that string. So you'll measure the length, and then you'll cut a piece of wire that length, and then you'll need to terminate a connector onto the end of it. You'll need a special kind of tool, these crimping tools that are shown here, to make that termination. So let's go ahead and make the termination, see how that works. Okay, let's go ahead and do the jumpers for the MC4 cables. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to measure off a length. Uh, it will take it from the end of your cables that are attached to your solar panels to your junction box or your combiner box. In this instance, I'm just going to use a small piece. Once we cut it to the proper length, we'll go ahead and strip off maybe about a quarter of an inch of the jacket here. And since this is the black, it's going to be for the negative, which is the female. And we use the male connector there. We're going to use this special crimp tool. Now for this particular size, I'm going to use the middle and you want to make sure that the saddle of this barrel fits down right in there on that little concave groove. We're going to place this in here and then we're just going to crimp down. Once it releases, you've really got about a 25 year uh, connection there. It's not going to go anywhere. So then we'll take this off. Go ahead and feed that in here. We'll push, we'll push it until we hear the click. There you are. That's a good connection. That's now in there. And then these two tools here will help you tighten these down. You can slide this right over the end here. This one will fit here. And just tighten it until it slips like the gas cap on your car. There we go. So that's going to be it. That's a nice connection. So we'll do the same for the positive. I'm going to use the red jacket for positive. I'm going to strip off just about a quarter of an inch. Okay. Then we're going to use the barrel here. I'll try and do it so you can see it. Remember, make sure that the saddle, the bottom of the saddle here, fits into the concave. If you turn it upside down, you run the risk of breaking the teeth. Plus, also, it's not going to make a proper connection. So we'll feed this in. Come on, get all the strands in there. Hard enough to do this by yourself, but imagine up on a roof. There we go. All right, we've made the connection there nice and tight. We'll take the mail, make sure you feed this. It's all right if you're dealing with an open one, but if it's closed, we'll push this in until it clicks. There we are. Tighten this down. Turn it till it slips. 
There we are. Now, you've got a nice connection. Now, on the roof or whatever, when you're making these connections, this will click in here like this. Makes a solid, lockable, watertight connection. You'll need a special tool to take them apart. These happen to have that right there on the end. And you can pull them apart by pressing those tabs in. So really, that's all there is to it. And then when you get to the last optimizer in the string, you will have, in this case, the negative or the female connection at this side. And then we've run a jumper from the male or the positive connection on the other side. So we have that all the way here. Now we could cut this and bring it into our, our junction box, but then you would essentially ruin, ruin the optimizer. So what we'll do is we'll make a, a jumper between this unit and where we're going to connect it in to the junction box. In this particular installation, we're terminating our MC4 jumpers into a junction box at a connector block. So we'll leave one end of them unconnectorized and then simply strip down the wire, connect it into that termination block, and you've got a nice, tight, 25-year installation. You can find more information on living sustainably in our unsustainable world at blueRockStation.com.